Beyond that, if we're going to live anywhere else in the solar system on a planet, then it has to be Mars, because we can't live on Mercury because it's too hot or too cold. It's actually a strange place because it rotates very slowly around the, around the sun. As it, so anyway, it, it's not very nice and it's small and hot and cold at the same time, depending on where you are. Venus is extremely hot, hot enough to melt lead on the surface, uh, sulfuric acid rain, 90 atmospheres pressure on the surface, so we're not living there. And all the others are made of gas, so we're not living on them either. So I'll go Pluto to annoy everybody, um, then Earth, Mars. And then it's interesting, so we have two missions at the moment on the way to Jupiter's moon, uh, well, in particular Europa which is a potential habitat for life. So I'd probably go Jupiter then because of its moons, but Saturn's moons are also interesting, particularly Titan, which is a planetary-sized moon, and Enceladus, which is a, a moon with liquid water below the surface as well. So I go for those. But if you ask me where would I send a space mission, where would be my number one choice, then I would say uh, probably Neptune, because Neptune has a wonderful moon. So actually, that's a photo of it, actually. So that's Neptune and Triton, as taken by Voyager. Voyager 2, which took this image when it's the only spacecraft ever to have gone out here. So, so I would go for Neptune, Uranus, Neptune, um, did, uh, I would send missions to because we've only had one mission to them. So there you go. But um, let's just be really annoying and say Pluto.